Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Moon, Sun, and Rising. Uh, for those of you guys that are interested in private consultations, definitely look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there. Also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I highly encourage you to subscribe so you could get the newest updates of the videos coming out. So let's get into your reading, Aquarius. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of October 2017. Spirit, what are the messages? What are the messages you have for Aquarius for the month of October 2017? Adivinando desde el futuro, constantemente mis seres me dan la luz y la facultad. Okay, I think one more shuffle, actually two more shuffles. All right, let's get into your reading, Aquarius. So your first card is the Ace of Cups, the Page of Cups, the King of Swords. Oh, I was like, why are they coming out all, all reverse? I have them. Um, the wrong direction. I don't really do reversals. The reason why is because spirit will let me know if it's resonating with the negative side of the card or the upright position. So let's get, oh wow. Okay. So you guys have a lot of beginnings, Aquarius. Uh, there's definitely beginnings coming through for you guys for the month of October. You have the Ace of Cups, Sorry, yeah, the Ace of Cups, the Page of Cups, the King of Swords, the Page of Coins, the Ace of Coins, the Eight, uh, sorry, the Ace of Coins, uh, the Seven of Cups, the Nine of Coins, the Pope card, you have the Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Tower, and the Star card. Wow. All right, Aquarius, so... <clears throat> Let's get into your reading. So your general energy for the month of October 2017 has to do with the Justice card. The Justice card is all about the past coming back into your present. It could be people that walked out of your life. It could be people that you're no longer close to or you don't speak on an everyday basis. They will be popping out for the month of October. The Justice card can also represent uh, ties to the past but having to deal with the past to be able to put that to rest, okay? Try the best you can not to be very judgmental for the month of October. Don't be very quick or um, very impulsive to judge people's characters or to judge people based on what they show you at face value initially in the beginning, okay? So keep that in mind. Now let's get into your reading. So uh, Aquarius, you have the Ace of Cups here. So there's definitely new beginnings in regards to love and romance because they, the Ace of Cups is going towards the Page of Cups. So there is an emotion here. I feel that this is your energy. So this is you coming towards um, a person, whether you're with them in a relationship, whether it's partnerships or whether this is a new person in the horizon um, because I do see you moving forward now. It could also be an offer of love or someone you find out that is a friend uh, of yours that is actually um, emotionally invested in you or interested in, in being with you in a relationship. Now, you're coming up as the King of Swords, and the King of Swords is looking towards the Page of Coins. So I feel that for some of you, Aquarius, you may be dealing with a water sign that is interested in you or you recently found out that there are they are they there's emotions um that they want to delve into with you. But I feel that you may, some of you guys may not be interested in this water sign because the King of Swords, which is being represented by you, is looking towards the Page of Coins. So for some of you guys, you guys are actually uh, hoping or wanting to connect with an Earth sign. An Earth sign would be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Um, and again, the reason I say that is because the ace is definitely looking towards this page. So there is a love, um, some type of offer coming in either through communication, through text, through uh, social media. Someone's definitely interested in you, but I feel that you're attracted to someone else. Now, this could go both ways. One, 
for those of you guys that are single, so you find out someone is interested in you, but you're not interested in them because you're actually wanting to pursue uh, this earth sign. Now, for others, it could be that you are in a relationship. Uh, for those of you guys that are in committed relationships, you're in a relationship um, and you recently heard or found out that there is another person in your surrounding that is interested in you. Um, but again, you're looking towards this earth sign. So it could go one of two, uh, two ways. Now you do have two aces straight together. So this is the beginning of the month. So the first month of October going into the second, there's definitely going to be changes in regards to love. So they it could be the change of you finding out that someone's interested in you, or it could be, um, that someone else finds out that you're interested in them. And there's also an offer in regards to, uh, to finances and work because you do have the ace of coins. Now I do want to mention for those of you guys that are currently single and you're dealing with or wanting to pursue an earth sign, I do see it evolving into something. I always prefer to get the ace of coins versus the ace of cups in any type of love spread. Uh, the reason for that is because the ace of coins has a promise for something long-term. The ace of cups is just mutual feeling. But just like there's mutual feeling, it could be, you know, momentarily, temporary, etc. But with the Ace of Coins, there is a promise for a long-term commitment or stability. So again, those of you guys that are dealing with an Earth sign, I do see this progressing. And it's going to further progress um, into something more stable, okay? Uh, the reason for that, again, like I said, is because the Ace of Cups is uh, right crowning the Ace of Coins. So... You have the hermit card here and the hermit card again like i said for those of you guys that are single uh it's time to stop uh being away from social settings social gatherings stop being the hermit stop being at home uh go out there you know embrace this new season this new change uh the new fresh brisky air that you find outside um the reason i'm saying this is again the hermit could be a representation of you either secluding yourself out of fear of committing or uh, secluding yourself in order to heal from past relationships. Nonetheless, you are at a point where spirit is telling you it's time to expand. It's, it's time to reach out and reconnect with the world out there once again. Now you do have the page of cups here and the seven uh, of cups. So this is telling me that there is a message coming through, perhaps for some of you Aquarius, uh, you're going to start to find that throughout the month of October, there's going to be a lot of new suitors or new people that are interested in you. Um, you do have two pages. Pages are always energies in regards to communication and messaging. So there's heavy communication coming back and forth. But the seven of cups can also represent having a lot of options or scattered energy. So again, I think in regards to love Aquarius, uh, this month is definitely going to be a good month for you guys to find a partner. You have the wheel of fortune here and the wheel of fortune, uh, definitely talks about the ending cycle, but it also speaks about striking luck in regards to love and romance and striking luck in regards to having more than one option. Now, right under you, you have the nine of coins. So again, like I said, uh, the king is looking towards the, the nine of coins at the bottom and the ace of pentacles. There's definitely an offer here uh, coming in for you guys for the month of October, probably the middle of October. Uh, this could be either um, taking on a new project where you work at. Um, it could actually be some type of uh, some type of travel involved, but they will increase or it will pay you more than what you're doing at the present time which is definitely a beautiful thing. I do see abundance coming in for you guys, most definitely for the month of October. Now, I do want to mention, you guys have, at the end of the month, nothing but major arcanas. You have the Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, and the Star. So, what this is telling me is that at the end of the month, you guys are going to be extremely shaken up. And this has to do with relationships. And the reason I say that is because you have new beginnings here with the Ace of uh, Cups and the Ace of Coins. But the hermit at the bottom is you refusing or you not trying to connect with someone out of fear or trying not to open up because you're not sure if you want commitment or not. But nonetheless, the Wheel of Fortune is here. 
to tell you whether you want to or not, universe is going to bring to you the experience that you most need that is going to bring out the best in you to elevate your frequency to a higher level. Now you have the tower. The tower is a lot of people, you know, doomsday, <laughs> don, don, don. <laughs> but it's actually not negative whatsoever because all you have surrounding this tower is positive cards. So there is something that's going to happen unexpectedly. So it could be that you unexpectedly uh, or your partner unexpectedly tells you, let's move in together. Uh, let's get married. For a lot of you guys, it could be marriage because you do have the Pope card here. The Pope card is all about commitment. It's all about, um, you know, the status quo. Um, again, if you guys have been dealing with a person or in a relationship for quite a while now, uh, the only thing to do left is either to move in or to get married. There's definitely going to be marriage here. There's definitely going to be uh, commitments. Now, for those of you guys that are single, what this could represent is that you've been single for whoops, you've been single for quite a while with the hermit, not really wanting to connect. But the wheel of the the wheel of fortune is here to tell you that whether you resist the change or not, at the end of the day, the universe is going to bring to you those experiences that you most desire. So what I mean by that is if you're so concerned about your freedom and roaming free and having, uh, you know, total control of your freedom, but deep down your innate desire is to actually commit or to actually have marriage in your life, then even if you suppress it or try to ignore that innate feeling, the innate feeling goes with, it goes deeper than you, so to speak. Um, so that could be one of the lessons that you need to learn in this life experience. Uh, what it is to commit, what it is to um, embrace, you know, another person's energy and combine and become one. So again, like I said, uh, the Wheel of Fortune is here to tell you that it's going to shake you up. It could also be that for some of you guys that have been, you know, dating for quite a while, uh, this person either steps up and tells you, you know what, this is not going any further. I think it's time we kind of uh, give each other some space to to try to analyze what we want and what this does it actually strikes you as it, you were not expecting it it was very unexpected and you come to the determination that you don't want to lose this person so you very quickly are very um, to make the choice this is your card Aquarius to make the choice to actually commit okay because, again, like I said, the Pope card is here and this is your card. It's you making that choice. So, again, there is definitely um, long-term commitments uh, being made for the month of October. There is new beginnings as well. Um, for those of you guys that have been married for quite a while or in a monogamous relationship, again, the Tower is definitely here to tell you that there is something that's going to have, that's going to be shaken up for you where you thought a certain way or you perceived a situation a certain way um and again like i said universe is going to shake you up and show you that sometimes we have to be more open to uh you know the perception of other people not be so stuck in what we think is right uh or vice versa now i do see a lot of heavy communication for some of you guys communicating very a lot uh with children if you guys have children uh, with family dynamic, but more than anything for the month of October, Aquarius, I definitely see you guys uh, committing. So again, I hope this resonates with you guys. Um, sorry, the reason why I'm positing is because I'm actually picking up on another message. Now, for some of you Aquarius that have been on a spiritual journey, um, and again, the, the hermit could be represented as, you know, keeping to yourself. But this is actually not so much for healing purposes, but for sp spirituality purposes. Uh, for those of you guys that have been on a spiritual journey, um, more, than, more than likely by the end of the month, you guys are going to be experiencing a spiritual awakening. Um, so what that means is, 
again, you guys are definitely going to be shaken up. For some, you guys may experience astral projection. For others, you may experience the power of manifestation without really knowing you're doing it. But then you understand or have an epiphany where you were like, oh my God, I was actually thinking of this, you know, or obsessing over it a couple of days ago and then boom, it happened. Um, so this is just universe telling you that they're guiding you. Uh, always know and understand that spirit guides are always with you and they're always trying to guide you to the best possible, uh, to, the, to your highest self, to your, always to the best of your convenience and to the best of your interest. Um, but again, definitely things are going to be shaken up for you Aquarius for the month of October. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Comment, like, share. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel and we will see each other in the middle of the month.